Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick review of the, uh, the Panzer 2J, get into a mastery game. The first intro is one I made previously with another Panzer 2J video. It was when I used to be with uh, QSF and when I used to make uh, videos with, uh, with Quickie Baby. So bear with it, it's a little bit slow but it's got the basic information and then it'll lead into uh, to the rest of the review. And this is when I was rich 911 before I actually became Gaming Bear, so it was that long ago. So bear with it, bear with the bear and see you at the end. Cheers guys. Good morning guys, Rich911 here. I'm going to do a review with the Panzer 2J. I've been asked to do a review of some of the rarer tanks in my collection. And I'm running at currently 303 tanks. So here's a selection of the gold tanks that I've got at the moment. Yeah, just a few. So let's, uh, let's look at just the lights and this time just those in the tier 3. Right, here we go, Panzer 2J. It's a very rare tank. One of the rarest you can find, I think. And uh, it's got immense armour. 80 millimetres of armour on the front, turret and hull. 50 millimetres on the side, 50 millimetres behind. But it's just so solid. So this is a great tank for just sticking in front of people taking the damage and scattering for your team, pushing forward and allowing the rest of your team to actually do things. So you can, you shouldn't have to uh, be timid, just play it properly, because this, this thing has got uh, as much armour on the front as a KV-1, which has got 80, uh, 75 millimetres of, uh, of armour on the front, even though it's got 110 on the, on the uh, turret, if, I, if I'm right. So this thing, for tier 3, is absolutely immense. But the gun on it is it's like a pop gun. This thing has only got 23 standard penetration. And with, with APCR, it's got 46 mil. Well, it's just sucky. So I just run this with APCR. Otherwise, it's just no point. You'll, you'll ban so many shots. I play this in such a way just so I can use the view range and spot for my team before moving in and helping the team to win. Taking out the, the team's adversaries, the really the strong point of this one for taking out the ones that have got low penetration but that will cause problems for the rest of the team. And that's the way you play it. You have to try and help the team to get around the tanks that have got the penetration that can actually do, do this damage. And then you move in, help the team. So I, I, I prefer to play this in, in all my tanks, actually. Not just focusing on what I can do for me. I'm focusing on what I can do for my team. I, I'm with QSFC, and we, we want to help people, but we don't want to just help ourselves. We want to be there and work with the players who are on our team. This is a great tank and it allows you to do that. So here goes, let's, uh, let's get into a game, see how the game runs and uh, I'll show you what this can do. Okay, let's get into that game. So, loading in. Okay, we're up against a 127, Himmelsdorf, 34% chance of winning. So it's not looking good, but we're in a Panzer 2J. So, I'm going to head up to, well, the angle on the 8-line. Eight, eight so let's speed this up a little bit. Times 8. Let's get in. Let's get this show on the road. Now, as you know, the this little thing has got quite good armour. Oh, he's trying to push me out of the way. I'm a little bit heavier. It's not going to work. So... He's trying to shoot me! What? Come on, dude! Play the white man! <laughs> or, you know, be nice. So, as he was trying to shoot me, I thought I'd get rid of him, push him into a wall. And he's just, just being a bit of... well... Doesn't matter, let's get back to the review. <laughs> I hadn't realised he was, he was trying to shoot me and things. So, moving up. Trying to spot what's ahead. Time to move. Keep angling. Target acquired. We didn't even scratch them. We didn't penetrate their armor. 
Now, the 127 is a very tough tank, so I'm zigzagging to maximise my armour efficiency. to make it even harder to penetrate. You can look at the spots, he's, he's going for the vision slits. Now I'm aiming for the lower plate, that's the weak spot on the T127. He's firing APCR, APCR. he's trying to get in. I'm aiming for, for, the, for his weak spot. That's the only place, even with premium, that this this tank can actually penetrate the, uh, the 127. Okay, BT7. I'm trying to work out which is the biggest threat. So, yeah, I was going for the, yeah, uh, for the TD. Angling. All those shots in the front. He's going for the, yeah, uh, the weak spots. He's running away. Now, with someone shooting from up there. All those shots. All bounced. So, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, go and cap. But they've they've started capping already. So, uh, I'm not the fastest. So, let's speed this up a little bit. So I've got chocolate and 105 loaded. Let's try and take these, this guy out. Because he's got a gun that can penetrate me. Even though there's uh, the Tetrarch up behind. He is quite a big threat. One crit and one shot in. Very, very uh, tricky tank. He's one of the only ones on the opposing team which has got a good chance of penetrating me. A really good chance. So I'm watching out for him. Still angling, looking for him. 8-11. Now I've got this BT coming in. So I'm trying to get a shot on. He's scared. He's, he's just trying to uh, decap while the, while the rest of his team comes in. Then I realise that there he is. He's gone. Now back to the, uh, the BT-7. BT I'm thinking it's time to repair it. I don't want to take a risk with him behind me. Gone. Next. 12-4. Three of them left. So far... Let's have a look. I've killed four. Another one coming in. I'm, I'm ignoring the Panzer three. Because the cruiser is the more dangerous tank. He's got the chance of penetrating me with that gun. So I'm aiming for him because he is the issue. He is the issue. I don't feel that the Panzer 1C is a problem, but I may as well take him out now. He's gone. Another 1C. He's going for my weak spots. Gone. Fourteen all. Wait for the track to come up. Trying to get a shot in over the top. Yes. And that's it. Game over. So, Panzer 2J in its home environment. WN8 for 10,000. Damage 1,709. Not a bad game. With seven kills. So let's move on and have a look at the, uh, the post-game stats. Okay, let's have a look at the post-game stats. Mastery and a few other awards, plus the Kalibanovs, Steel Wall, Cool-Headed, High Calibre and Top Gun.
quite a few tanks. Well, seven. Seven killed. 153 uh, shots. Did quite a bit of damage. Bounced an awesome amount of shots. Did 1,709 damage in a in a tier three game. Let's see, see what we did. 1,208 base experience. Five awards. Detailed. 266 shots. 202 hit. 153 penetrated. For that 1,709 damage, received 170 hits. We, we did take six shots, but 164 didn't for 1,854 damage that uh, was pre prevented. Shots, 10 tanks, killed seven. 38,000 credits, but we ended up uh, losing 15,000. Experience-wise, 1,812 times two, plus a premium bonus for 4,700 experience which is quite nice. So, you know how bouncy this tank is, you know how good the armour is. This is the Panzer 2J, and they're going to make it even tougher. They're going to fix up these weak spots here, and I believe that's it, because this has got 40 penetration, of 40 armour instead of the normal 50 on the sides, and they're going to make it 50. So, yeah, that's going to be entertaining. So this is the, uh, the Panzer 2J. I'm the Gaming Bear, and see you on the next one.